Hey everyone, this is Ron with Reverb.com and we're here to talk about the DOD Meat Box. The DOD Meat Box is a sub synth pedal. It's pretty much like an octave pedal, but a little bit different. It does one octave below and then it has filters for around 30 to 35 hertz and 60 hertz. So it really pushes a lot of low end, unlike a lot of other octavers that have been made. Very few come into the same territory as the DOD Meat Box. The DOD Meat Box is a reissue of a pedal that they did back in the mid 90s. It was only available for a really short amount of time and the used ones uh, from the 90s are fetching up to 200, $300. Kind folks over at DOD have reissued it now, making it a little more user friendly and a lot more affordable. One of the things we really like about these new DOD reissues is that they come in a nice metal enclosure. Uh, they're really well made, true bypass switching, uh, standard nine volt power supplies. The controls are a lot easier to figure out. The original had controls that said like meat and flank and pounds. Now we have a lot more easy to read controls. So that's always helpful in figuring out your tones. Speaking of controls, let's take a look at the setup on the meat box right now. So the first knob here was our octave control. Uh, that controls our wet dry blend for the clean signal of your instrument and the one octave below signal that's coming through the pedal. Second knob here is your output that just controls your overall output, pretty simple. First bottom control here is your sub. Uh, that is the boost or cut at around 30 to 35 hertz. And then our final knob here is our low, which is the boost or cut at 60 hertz. Despite the short run of the original DoD Meat Box, it has found its way into the home of a lot of cool players' boards, uh, most notably a big resurgence and part of probably why this was reissued, thanks to Juan Alderete, uh, our friend, he's been on here a few times now, and uh, Jonathan Hischke, another great player, both notable for using the DoD Meat Box, both the reissue and the original. Well, enough of me just talking about the pedal. Let's hear some of the sounds that it can produce. We're going to be using a 70s area precise bass through a 65 Ampeg B15. We're micing that up with a Shure SM7B and a Radial DI. At this point, if you have some good earbuds or headphones or a system with a subwoofer, you might want to turn it on because this thing does go low and you're going to be able to hear it and feel it a lot better with a good system versus, you know, normal computer monitors. All right, so this first sound we're going to check out, uh, just a pretty classic sound of the meat box. Um, I've got both of the bass filters cranked up, so we're getting a lot of the boosted low end, and then the octave down, pretty heavy on the octave versus the dry, adding a little bit in there, and then just setting the output to taste. So that was with our blended signal. So we still had a lot of definition from the original bass tone coming in. We're gonna crank up that sub octave now and uh, really hear why this thing was called a speaker popper back when it came out in the 90s. So we're going to take a quick second to talk about the sub and low knobs. Now these are boost and cut filters, um, again around 60 and 30 hertz. You can take that sub octave out and just use it as a bass boost, but uh, it really shines when you have that octave cranked. We're going to take them down a little bit just so you can hear the difference. I'm also going to roll back the sub octave so we can get some of that clean bass signal blended back into the signal. Add some of that octave back in. And then throw back in some more of that bass boost. the D 
DOD Meat Box. It's a great sub-synth octave generator. The folks over at DOD did a fantastic job with this reissue. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, this is a 100% analog pedal, so that octave down does work best with monophonic signals. Uh, if you're playing chords through it, it's gonna get a little glitchy, but that's pretty cool in its own right. One last thing, the DoD Meat Box does pair really well with other pedals, particularly distortions, fuzz pedals, and filters. Uh, we're gonna bring in the DoD Bone Shaker Distortion and the band, and we're gonna play a St. Vincent tune for you guys. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>